Today on this 2011 Toyota Highlander, we're going to install part number 118449 from Toready. This kit comes with a few different pieces. It comes with a fuse that goes into the fuse holder underneath the hood. The module itself actually gets plugged underneath the dash of the vehicle. Four pole flat is actually plugged into a port that is at the rear of the vehicle. So we'll start at the front and work our way back. First thing we'll do is go ahead and get underneath the dash and we'll go ahead and plug in the module into its port. Okay, and this is the module itself and this is the part that gets plugged into the port underneath the dash. This particular case is pretty easy to find, it stands right out. Let's kind of pull it down a little bit and plug into it. Now we'll take our module box, it has an adhesive back to it, and we'll actually mount it to this component. Above it, it has a nice flat spot. All right, we got the module attached. We'll go ahead and use a zip tie to tie up the rest of the wires. Now we'll go ahead and go underneath the hood and install a fuse up there. All right, now let's go to the relay and fuse box. We'll go ahead and take the lid off for that. The original factory tow package, if you got it with the vehicle, is actually rated for a higher capacity. And I'll show you where it's at. If we orient it the same way as the box, it's going to be at the very end down here. So it's listed 30 amp towing right here. Now we're only using a 10 amp fuse. The reason is that is the module is only rated for 10 amps total. As you can see here, the fuse actually sticks up quite a bit compared to the other fuses. It is a different style fuse in the vehicle, but it does make contact inside there. Let's go ahead and reattach the lid. Now go to the back of the vehicle and locate the port for a four pole wiring harness. Our port is gonna be located in the back corner here behind the taillight on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and remove the floor panels so we have access to it. Take the shade out of the way too. To get the storage box out, remove the screws at the bottom as well as on the inboard side. There's gonna be one here, here, and here. So let's remove all of those. All right, then we can just pull it up and out of the way. With that pull out of the way, look towards the rear taillight and you can see there's a small four pin connector. That is where we're going to be plugging into. All right, we can go ahead and put everything back into place now. You can see the compartment put back together now that the four pole is going to rest nicely in this cargo compartment when not in use. And then we'll just go ahead and pull it out a little bit and shut the hatch on it. Just make sure we stay away from the latch itself here. And then we'll just go ahead and pull out what we need to go down to the hitch in our trailer. And with that, that'll finish our install. And there you have it for part number 118449 from Toe Ready.